Hi there. Welcome back to Cool Classics. Yes, I had to throw that in just because. So yes, I watched another episode of Welcome Back, Cotter, and another one of my favorite characters. Here we go. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, born September 4th, 1953 in New York City. He is one of nine children born to Hilton and Clothilda Jacobs. Larry, as his family and friends call him, attended public school in New York City, so he has first-hand knowledge of what it's like to be a student in a big city high school, like the one pictured on Welcome Back, Cotter. While still in high school, Larry was working in the evenings and on the weekends. He was a delivery boy and a florist. Then after he graduated, he started working in a department store, but then he got his first real important job, as he puts it. He was a freelance artist and package designer. This introduction to the world of arts made up for all the menial jobs he had performed while waiting to find himself, he said. While working as an artist, Larry became interested in acting and began studying at Al Fan's Theatrical School and then with the Negro Ensemble Company. These are two all-black acting companies which produce experimental plays in New York City. They also train promising young black actors in the performing arts. With these companies, Larry acted in such plays as Cora's Second Cousin, The Dean, What the Wine Sellers Buy, and Mask in Black. None of these productions made him famous, but they did bring him to the attention of film casting directors. He was given part in the movie Claudine in 1974, and then Cooley High in 1975, which was his big breakthrough into show business. It was because of his acting in Cooley High that he was invited to come audition for a role in a new TV sitcom. Larry said that he didn't know what to expect when he went in for the audition, but he sure didn't expect to win the part right there. And that's exactly it. The show was going to be called Welcome Back, Cotter, and he was going to be playing Freddie Boom Boom Washington. The character of Freddie was supposed to be hip and cool, also very athletic, had to have some skills on the basketball court. He was going to be the athletic sweat hog. <laughs> and you know what? He was cool. He was hip. And he was good at basketball too. Although Mr. Cotter almost beat him one time in a game on there because Mr. Cotter's character had been the previous Buchanan basketball team champion whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I still laugh at this stuff. <laughs> I can't help it. I get a kick out of it. The hi there and uh, Mr. Cater. You know? <laughs> uh, see, I even laughed right then. What can you say? A classic's a classic. He owned the part and he brought it to life. You know, he was called Boom Boom Washington and he'd hold up like he's holding a bass guitar, like air guitar, and he'd go boom, 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 boom. I love it, man. You know, at one point, um, he was on a radio station. He had to be like a DJ. And George Carlin was in the episode, and I guess George Carlin was an official sweat hog in the day. Isn't that freaky, huh? The Welcome Back Cotter Show aired from September 9th, 1975 to May 17th, 1979. During this time, Larry appeared in other TV shows and some movies, but in 1977, he was in the TV series Roots, which was very popular and helped establish his career even more. In 1978, he appeared in the movie Youngblood and released his first album, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs, self-titled album, 1978. Then, in 1979, he released All The Way Love. Then, in 1981, he produced for a group called Halo. The album is called Let Me Do It. And if you find that while out searching in the wild somewhere, you better grab it cheap because it's a sought-after recording amongst collectors. and You can make some cash. And like I said, he appeared in a lot of television shows over the years, all the way back from Beretta and Captain and Tennille in 76, and it just kept on going through Fame, Simon and Simon, Hill Street Blues. He was a regular on Alienation from 89 to 90, The Red Fox Show, Roseanne, Ellen, Diagnosis Murder, it just keeps going on and on. Moesha, LA Doctors, The Martin Show, The Wayans Brothers, Renegade. You know, I loved that show. <laughs> I was like, he was on that one for two episodes in 1994. Gilmore Girls, you know, it goes all the way up to 2020. He's still working. This is the kind of stuff that I love to find out when I look up the actors who played my favorite characters over the years. Yeah, they're alive and kicking, doing good, still working. Freddie Boom Boom Washington. Oh, he was cool, man. Yeah, I dig it. Cool classics. Don't be scared to subscribe.